Hey guys, welcome back to another Heavy Metal Diecast video. Today we have one here from Hobby Master from the 148 Air Power Series, of course. It is a Misha Schmidt BF109. It is an E3 from the Spanish Civil War as flown by Hans Schmoller Haldi. And uh, this is from Legion Condor. Legion Condor was a German unit that was sent over to Spain as military aid for the nationalists during the Spanish Civil War during 1936 to 1939, early 39, of course. And it was to aid General Franco to victory over the Second Spanish Republic. Uh, Hans would arrive late in 1938, towards the end of the war, of course, and would not actually score any victories in this particular aircraft here. But he would then go on to serve with JG 54 in the Luftwaffe during World War II and would end the war with 14 aerial victories. He would also then go on to serve in post-war Luftwaffe as well. And we'll open up this nice hobby master box as per usual and the, the flap goes back down <laughs> it does have some nice details about the aircraft there of course and the aircraft sitting in there this one obviously it is some special spanish markings there not in german markings or anything like that it is held in with some weird tie downs in here so we'll have to get those of course i bought this brand new on amazon it cost me 121 dollars it's a weird amount but that was including the postage to me as well so anyway enough of that talk let's get this amisha schmidt out of the box and have a real good look at it this is it out of the box with those tie downs off it does come with the standard hobby master stand in a little baggie of course and we'll get this lid off and have a look at this little amisha schmidt in here so it does have in this little baggie for a little Wheels up baggy there if you want to have it in wheels up or the extended landing gear if you want to have wheels down. You know where we're going to be going, don't you? And it does have the canopy option if you want to have the canopy open as well instead of in the closed position as it sits. And a little hand sitting there ready to go in. All right, speaking of getting in, let's get in here and get this Mr. Schmidt out of the packet. It's always scary popping these out, I'll tell you what. Looking at this brand new and uh, for the very first time and... and Oh, this one. You have got to be kidding me! This one looks to have uh, had a little bit of a flying accident. I was about to say this looks really neat. This is, as you saw, this is brand new out of the box. Um, that is, that is disappointing. Shit. <laughs> I'm a little bit disappointed. Hopefully, I can bend that back. Um, hopefully, if you decide to pull the trigger on one of these, it is not all bent like mine is. That is a little bit disappointing, considering this is brand spanking new, as uh, you can see. But look, we'll uh, push that down there out of our eyesight, <laughs> and we'll have a, a look at the rest of the aircraft anyway. We, we shall soldier on. But uh, the panel lines, they do look nice. The the paintwork on this, it does look fantastic. I um, I really do like this. So I'm 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 a little I'm a little bit sad actually. So as I say, we I do open these all the same time as you are seeing these as well. So um, I'm it's throwing me off my game a little bit. I am a little bit disappointed that with that damage. But anyway, we'll just keep recording. But uh, we'll run down the fuselage down this side. As I said, this is in not in German markings, so there there won't be any of. Um, tail markings for that era that Germany was sporting at the time so but uh, I reckon the overall finish of this is quite nice it'd be even better if it didn't have that propeller blade issue we'll have a look at the rest of the prop there and I think look the the detail on there is is excellent it is really good that is fantastic what we'll do is we'll, we'll see if we can get this cockpit open which we can and Try and have a look at some of those details. It's really hard to throw some light in there, but um, that is unfortunate. But it does look like there is a, quite a bit of detail in there. We'll put that back on. But overall, I, I think this does does look really nice. It, it does look beautiful. It is another well-manufactured aircraft apart from the uh, damage on that front blade there that, that, is, that is very sad I'll, I'll turn it over and we'll have a little look underneath and as you can see the the quality is the same on the underneath it is very well done these are really fantastic from hobby master their 148 series is really well done it does have a lot of detail and they do come up really nice 
as you see with the e versions they do have those braces on the back here they they were deleted in in newer models but uh as most of you will be aware of but i reckon it does does look very nice uh, what we'll do is is um i'm going to go off and cry and i'll put some landing gear on <laughs> and then we'll we'll come right back all right back in a second okay so here we have it landing gear on just straightforward that module just drops straight in and the wheels they don't move or anything like that you just just put that piece in and that is job done so <laughs> i did um straighten out the propeller a little bit just to try and make myself feel a little bit better it's not perfect but it's uh passable i suppose and it does come with a little hans here if you want to put a little hans in there i reckon this does fit out though very nicely it does come up very well and uh i reckon for a spanish civil war mr schmidt it does come up very well it is uh look it's a 109 in a, in a little bit of a different uh color scheme than you normally get them in and I reckon it does come up a treat. But what we'll do, hey, we'll do something different on camera and we'll have a, have a little look in there again. But we'll chuck that other um, canopy on. And there we have it. So th that's how it would sit if you had it with the cockpit open. And that does look pretty cool. But I reckon that's all right. We'll whack that off again and put the standard canopy back on. And of course, you do have to put that little aerial on the back here too when you uh, do assemble it. So it's just that little aerial and then the landing gear and it is all, all pretty much done. And of course, the little uh, stand that is provided is this one and you just whack it in that hole. It does have these two prongs here that sort of, they will go against the paint. So I don't know, if you're having this long term on a stand, maybe you put something over that so it doesn't rub against the paint or they might have sent me the wrong one. I don't know. This is what just came in the box though. And you just whack it on the stand and there you have it. And that is a Mr. Schmidt on the stand, ready to display. And uh, I reckon it's another another reasonably nice nice one for sure. Hobby Master, do do a lovely 148 scale Mr. Schmidt for sure. I am very happy with the ones I've seen so far. And uh, yeah, what we'll do is we'll uh, zoom in a fraction for you. And wind this video up. So what I will do is I'll do the usual. I'll take some photos of this 109 e3 and post them up at the conclusion of the video so you can see them without these sausage fingers in the way of course as you can see look as i said it, it is pretty reasonable in size and does come up quite well and i uh, i got this from amazon for 121 dollars and that was including the delivery to me so i reckon that wasn't a bad price either for this particular model for for me in australia and this particular model is of course from hobby master 148 scale from the 148 air power series it is the mr schmidt bf109 e3 from the spanish civil war as flown by hans schmoller haldi and i reckon it is not a bad little unit and if you like it as much as me if you can spare the time throw me a little bit of a like here and there and if you have yet to subscribe hey feel free to subscribe as i always say as well all right guys i thank you very much for spending your valuable time as per usual watching another one of my videos and i hope you did enjoy it thank you so much you have a fantastic rest of your day cheers guys <laughs>